Hi there, today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up spam filters on your Marketo forms. So the reason you'd want to do this, and I've had personal experience here, is that sometimes malicious actors can spam your Marketo forms, which A, leads to false MQLs that waste your sales team's time, or it could also just lead to a lot of spam notifications being sent to the rest of your team. So this is why you'd want to implement spam filters on your Marketo forms. And in this blog post, I'll show you how to do it using Google's V3 reCAPTCHA. And I'll explain what Google's V3 reCAPTCHA is and how it works, how you can set up your reCAPTCHA account, how you can sync this account with Marketo, how you can implement CAPTCHA on Marketo forms, and then how you can do post-processing of form submissions in order to filter out spam submissions or to trigger other automation such as excluding these from syncing to Salesforce, stopping them from MQLing, or maybe even deleting them automatically. Let's start with a quick explanation of what Google reCAPTCHA version three is. So Google reCAPTCHA version two offers a challenge to the user before they submit the form. So you've most likely have seen this already where Google asks you to select all the fire hydrants or traffic lights in the image. So that's Google reCAPTCHA version two. However, Google reCAPTCHA version three does not offer a challenge to the user. Instead, it passes a score to Marketo to let Marketo know the likelihood that this form submission was carried out by a bot. And the score it passes to Marketo is the CAPTCHA raw score, and it ranges from zero to one in increments of 0 0.1. And when this CAPTCHA raw score is above 0 0.5, then the CAPTCHA normalized score will be trusted and when the CAPTCHA raw score is less than 0 0.5, then the CAPTCHA normalized score will be suspicious. And, we, and as I'll show later on, we can access these CAPTCHA raw scores and CAPTCHA normalized scores in Marketo triggers and filters as constraints. And we can also see them in the activity details in the activity log. There are some other CAPTCHA normalized score values that we can receive from Google. One of them is missing, which means there are Request went through successfully to Google, but Google did not return a raw score. Quota means you've exceeded your 1 million requests per month. And if you want to exceed 1 million requests per month, then you'll need to sign up for reCAPTCHA Enterprise, which costs $1 per 1,000 requests, or you'll get failed, which means there was just an error during processing. Now let's take a look at how we can set up our reCAPTCHA V3 account in Google. So within this blog post, which I'll link to within the description of the YouTube video, click on this link and it will take you automatically to create a new reCAPTCHA. So just enter the name of it. So let's just put the workflow pro Marketo spam filter. You want reCAPTCHA V3, we'll add the domains. So for my site, it'd be the workflow pro com, And then you'd click accept the recapture terms of service. And you can leave the send alerts to owners as ticked. And you can just mouse over the information icon here to see what that means for you. And then hit submit. And then this is the site key and the secret key that you'll need to copy over to Marketo. So if we go to the admin section and we go to CAPTCHA and we go to edit, we're going to copy the site key, paste it in here, and then we're going to copy the secret key, and then we're going to paste it in here, and then we'll hit save. And that means we've now correctly configured the Google V3 reCAPTCHA integration with Marketo. And the next step is to then enable CAPTCHA on all our Marketo forms. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to globally roll out Marketo CAPTCHA across all forms. At the moment, you have to go to each form individually. And then beside CAPTCHA here, you have to select enabled, and then you'll just hit finish approve and close, and then CAPTCHA is implemented on that Marketo form. So you have to do this one by one, which is annoying, but I believe in the future Marketo might be bringing out a global toggle
that will allow you to set captcha equal to true on all your forms. So now that that is done, when you go to the activity log of someone who submitted a form, so for example, I go to the activity log for my person here, I click on this fill out form activity, and I click on the activity details, I can see the CAPTCHA information down the bottom here. We get the CAPTCHA normalized score as trusted, and we get the CAPTCHA raw score as 0 0.9. And we can then use these values in Marketo filters or Marketo triggers. So if we wanted to build a smart list, for example, of all the people who filled out any form in the past 30 days who are marked as suspicious, we can do that here by adding the CAPTCHA normalized score uh, as a constraint and we can also add the capture raw score as a constraint as well if we actually want to get more granular and use the 0 to 1 range with the 0 0.1 increments or we can trigger automation off of suspicious form fills so anytime a form is filled out and the capture normalized score comes back as suspicious then we can add these people to a quarantine list so I'll show you what this looks I'll show you what this list looks like now so you'll want to periodically review this list to see are there any good people who we've excluded from going over to Salesforce and our sales team because this isn't perfect and you might be missing out on some gems. So I'll show you an example, hopefully that's still there from when I looked earlier on this week. So if I go to this CAPTCHA suspicious smart list, by reviewing this capture suspicious list, I can see whether people were correctly marked as suspicious or if they were incorrectly marked as suspicious. So I've hidden the email addresses here, but oftentimes you can tell from the email address whether they put something at example.com or if they just mash the keyboard and you see that in the email address, that's a really good indication that the form fill was from a bot. Or in this case, you can see from the full names here that this is clearly a spot. This is clearly a spam form submission because it's just a lot of gibberish and you'll often see these kinds of strings of characters in the email addresses as well. So what I'll do is I'll review these manually and then I'll mark them as disqualified by like clicking this range, going to marketing, change data value, and then marking the person status of all these people as disqualified. However, as you'll notice down here, there was a genuine form submission who sales have marked as now sales accepted lead. And we can see that it was a genuine sales inquiry and they did put like genuine information in the form fill. So sometimes Google gets it wrong and it incorrectly marks people as suspicious when they're genuine form fills. So that's why I recommend creating a quarantine list like this and periodically reviewing all the form fills, looking at the email addresses, looking at the full name, looking at any other information submitted in the form to make sure that genuine form submissions are not being incorrectly quarantined. To give you some examples of how you can start filtering out spam submissions from your marketing operations processes, here is one example where we only want to send alerts to our support, legal or sales team if the capture normalized score is not suspicious. And similarly, we only want to re-MQL someone and set their re-MQL source and their re-MQL source detail values if the form fill for the contact sales form is not marked as suspicious. So these are two examples I have. Other examples you might want to build are do not sync the person to Salesforce if the form submission is marked as suspicious or automatically disqualify people who have a suspicious form fill. So these are some of the examples of the automation that you can build um, once you have Marketo Captcha enabled on all your forms. Let's do a quick recap of what we've covered in this video. So we went through what Google Recaptcha V3 is and how it's different from Recaptcha V2. I showed you how to set up your Recaptcha V3 account in Google and then how to sync this account to Marketo. I showed you then how to integrate Captcha into all your Marketo forms and then how you can use the scores returned from the form submissions in your Marketo smart lists and how you can then use 
these scores in your automation to do things like exclude people from MQLing, exclude them from sending notifications to your sales team, exclude them from syncing to Salesforce or automatically disqualify these people. So I hope this blog post was useful and you're now able to filter out all these spam form submissions so you can focus on the stuff that really matters.